Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a 3D button for your website. So this is how the button is going to look. And when we hover over this, we can see that the back side of the button is being displayed over here. And you can add your own text over here. And this is basically an anchor tag. So you can link this button to any page you want. So this is basically what we're going to design in this video. And then later I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So let's get started. Right, so here I have opened up a blank project in uh, VS Code and uh, let's create an index.html file and also a style.css file and let's go back to the index.html file and in VS Code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you have this basic HTML5 boilerplate code and uh, let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and style.css over here right now let's start with the HTML for the button so this is an anchor tag so let's create an anchor tag and for the href I'll just type hash for now you can go ahead and add the link of any page over here and we'll also give it a class so we'll give it a class of custom btn now in this button we need to have two parts the front view and the back view so we'll create two spans for that I'll just type span and uh, we'll give it a class of front and uh, here I'll just type front view and I'll just duplicate this and uh, here I'll just type back view and for the class we will type back so that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server. So I'll just right click over here and click on Open with Live Server. So here we can see our button, the front view and the back view is displayed over here. Now let's go to our style.css file and let's start styling this button. So first of all, let's target the anchor tag. We just type custom btn, which is the class that we had given for the anchor tag. Now we want to set the position of the two spans relative to the anchor tag which is the parent. So for that we have to type position relative over here and let's also give it a height of 48 pixels and we'll also give it a width of 240 pixels. Let's add a background color so that we can see the height and the width. Now the height and the width are not being applied over here because uh, it is an anchor tag and it is by default display of inline so we have to change it to something else so we'll just set the display to flex right now we can see that the height and the width are being applied right now let's set the text decoration to none so that we can get rid of the underlines and we'll set the font family to roboto now for the font you also need to add the link in the html so let's search for roboto in google fonts so here I'll just search for Roboto and let's click on the Roboto font and uh, we'll just select the regular and the bold versions. Alright, now let's scroll up over here and uh, click on view your selected families and these are the two font styles that we have selected. So let's copy this link from here and paste it inside our HTML. Now let's set the font weight to bold and we'll also bring it to the center so just type margin and for the top and bottom we will have a margin of 32 pixels and for left and right we'll just type auto so now it is in the center All right now let's target the front and the back so here we have two spans over here with front and back classes so let's go over here and type custom button front and we'll also target custom button back and we'll set the position to absolute so now we can see that it is positioned relative to this custom button and uh, let's set the width to 100% of the parent and even the height to 100% of the parent now let's bring the text to the center so we'll just make a display of flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center All right now let's add a background color to the front and the back so I'll just remove this background red from here 
and uh, let's add the background color for the front so I'll just type custom BTN front and uh, for the background color we have a linear gradient color so let's go to the website to generate these colors so the website is called cssgradient.io and then go to backgrounds and then go over here to gradient hunt and there are a lot of gradients over here so let's select one from here we'll just select this one for the front view so I'll just copy gradient code from here and let's go to VS code and uh, here I'll just paste the code and for the back we'll just type custom btn back so let's see for the back we have a dark color so let's scroll down I think this is the color so let's copy this and paste it over here All right so we have the back and the front colors over here for the back we will have a text color of white and for the front we will have a text color of black right now we don't want the back of this button visible by default so we'll rotate it 90 degrees to the x-axis so I'll just type transform rotate x and I will just type 90 degrees over here alright now the back is rotated 90 degrees so now we can see the front view and for the front I'll just type transform rotate x of 0 degrees now when we hover over this button we want the front to be rotated negative 90 degrees and the back to be rotated 0 degrees so let's do that so I'll just type custom button colon hover front and we'll transform rotate x to negative 90 degrees and for the back we just type custom button hover back and here we'll just type transform rotate x 0 degrees right now let's hover over this and we can see when we hover over this uh, the back view is being displayed and when we move the mouse out we have the front view now we want them to transition smoothly so let's go over here to the CSS for front and back and here I'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds so now let's hover over this and we can see the back view is being displayed and when we get out of the button we have the front view but we don't want it to be rotated like this we want it to feel like it is 3D so here we can see it looks like a 3D button so for that let's add some more code so let's go over here to custom button and first of all let's add perspective so let's type perspective and the value depends on how you want it to look for me I'll just type 240 pixels so now when we hover over this we can see that it looks kind of like a 3d button now we need to set a transform origin so for that let's go over here to this uh, front and back code and uh, let's add some code for transform origin so I'll just type transform origin and the value that I have found that works well is 50% 50% and negative 24 pixels right now let's go over here and uh, hover over this and we can see that it looks like a 3d button so everything is almost completed we just want to remove this uh, view that we have over here of the back button so we can see that a little bit of the back is being displayed over here so for that let's go to the back CSS and let's add a property called back face visibility and we'll set it to hidden and now we can see that the back is not being displayed so let's hover over this and everything is working all right let's also add a little bit of border radius to the back and the front so I'll just type border radius of 4 pixels so now we can see everything is working just like we wanted so that's basically how you create a 3d button for your website now in the next video I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day